Um, so the show is called Power Has a Fragrance, which is a found title. Like, um, like all of my work uh, is always based on appropriated images. So, so also with the titles, they're either very descriptive or they are um, appropriated from somewhere else. So the title Power Has a Fragrance is appropriated from uh, Death in June, this industrial band. And the reason why I chose it is because it kind of gives the impression of power not necessarily being this kind of one-dimensional, forceful presence. It, it, it uh, kind of hints at power being also expressed in more subtle ways and kind of surrounding you in a way that, that is less obvious somehow. I mean, there are, a few, there are a few themes going on at the same time and I of course also try not to, to really have too much of an obvious theme, but of course the themes relate to how power is expressed through symbols, how, how symbols function together to kind of steer you around. Um, it relates to themes of kind of individual versus kind of mass society, um, things like that. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can start with the big thing in the middle, which is um, it's called Barricade Stockholm, and it's a it's a remake of the of the types of barricades that were erected in Thailand in the riots there uh, of last year. Um, so it's so it's just it's just local locally sourced car tires, and then these kind of resin casts of bamboo sticks. So it was kind of an attempt at making this uh, kind of stylized version of these barricades, but at the same time using uh, kind of tires that would be recognized as local, so as to kind of point to the possibility of these types of riots happening anywhere. I mean, it is of course, um, that is of course something that is possible anywhere. And, and I think that with car tires, there, there are quite a few local variations. So there was a version of this piece in LA, which is called Barricade Los Angeles, and the tires were really different. There was these kind of more sports car tires and SUV tires. And here it's like kind of normal sized tires with studs for winter driving. So, so it kind of gives the impress this impression that it could have been collected from the streets around you somehow. And especially in this case, you also see kind of the cars in the background through the window. So, so it gives this idea of kind of this latent violence in the everyday object. There. These, the flags that are here are, are based on uh, historical American flags. And what I was kind of interested in is how they have this kind of, they use these symbols that we recognize from flags today, but somehow, you know, to, to a different function somehow, because these are usually kind of anti-authoritarian flags. They, they were homemade, so they have this kind of DIY thing to them. Uh, and they were, you know, they serve kind of the opposite function of what they serve today, because today these symbols kind of reinforce authoritarian power somehow. And, and they were the opposite back then. And also, of course, the flag is interesting because it is somehow like a very direct way of using, uh, of using symbols. It uses symbols to rouse popular support for something. And at the same time, it has kind of a dimension that is pretty similar to the dimensions of painting, uh, which is why I kind of use, I make my flags only one-sided in order to kind of abstract them further away from a real flag and make them kind of refer to this context of painting somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, paranoia is, I think, something that I'm interested in as, as a, almost as a methodology for my art somehow, because my art tries to, my art takes symbols and images from around the world and kind of forces them into this narrative, which is how I think paranoia functions. It's, you know, it's kind of overanalyzing the symbols around you and forcing them to mean something within an already set system somehow. So that's really, very similar to me to how I use symbols in my work it, to create this kind of theatrical version of a paranoid worldview or something. Which is also why I think why the installations are always set up somehow as like an environment, you know, it kind of creates this paranoid mindset and kind of hints at, at paranoia being sort of the way to read the symbols in play.